Good morning and welcome to our prayers this morning. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? Let us be still and aware of God's presence within and all around. God of our days and years, we set this time apart for you. Form us in the likeness of Christ, so that our lives may glorify you. Amen. The world belongs to God. The earth and, and all, all its, its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful. To live, to together, live together in, in unity. unity. Love and faith come together. Justice, Justice and, and peace join hands. hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones, stones would, would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Let us in silence confess our faults and admit our frailty. In a dark and disfigured world, we have not held out the light of life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. In a hungry and despairing world, we have failed to share our bread. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. In a cold and loveless world, we have kept the love of God to ourselves. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May God forgive us. Christ renew us, and the Spirit enable us to grow in love. Amen. Amen. This morning we are going to say Psalm 23 with a commentary written by Bishop Stephen. The Archbishops of Canterbury and York suggest that we pray this psalm every day during the current health crisis. When we are isolated and alone, we remember God is with us. We place our hands in his hands. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. When we are tired and confused, He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. When we are worn out with worry, He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. When we are sick and afraid, and if we lose those we love, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. When we face difficulties today, and we hope for a better tomorrow, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. In the face of trouble and difficulty of all kinds, we remember Jesus' promise of life beyond death. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Glory, Glory be, be to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our New Testament reading for today comes from the Gospel according to St John, chapter 19, verses 1 to 16. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged. And the soldiers wove a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they dressed him in a purple robe. They kept coming up to him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews, and striking him on the face. Pilate went out again and said to them, Look, I am bringing him out to you to let you know that I find no case against him. So Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns. 
and the purple robe. Pilate said to them, Here is the man. When the chief priests and the police saw him, they shouted, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no case against him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, and according to that law he ought to die because he had claimed to be the Son of God. Now when Pilate heard this, he was more afraid than ever. He entered his headquarters again and asked Jesus, Where are you from? But Jesus gave him no answer. Pilate therefore said to him, Do you refuse to speak to me? Do you not know that I have the power to release you and power to crucify you? Jesus answered him, You would have no power over me unless it had been given to you from above. Therefore the one who handed me over to you is guilty of a greater sin. From then on, Pilate tried to release him, but the Jews cried out, If you release this man, you are no friend of the emperor. Everyone who claims to be a king sets himself against the emperor. When Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus outside and sat on the judge's bench at a place called the Stone Pavement, or in Hebrew, Gabbatha. Now it was the day of preparation for the Passover, and it was about noon. He said to the Jews, Here is your king. They cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate asked them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but the emperor. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. For the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We are commissioned to live so that we shine like lights which direct others onto God, the source of light. Let us pray to the God who loves us and loves our world. We pray for the worldwide church and for our congregation here in this community. We thank you, Lord, for our priests, Michael, John and Julian, and for all who minister to us in your name. We pray that there may be a revival of longing for your kingdom to come and a renewed commitment to working for it for a desire to live out our faith and worship in our daily lives this week. Come Holy Spirit, set, set our, our hearts, hearts on, on fire. fire. We pray for the nations of the world struggling with the coronavirus pandemic, climate change and conflict. We pray for all leaders and governments that they will govern wisely and with justice. We pray that all who have authority and power in our nation and our world may use it for good, upholding and instigating what is right and fair, and listening to the needs of those they represent. May we recognise our responsibility to support and stand up for God's values. We pray especially for Russia, for Turkey, and India. Come Holy Spirit and set, set our, our hearts, hearts on, on fire. fire. We pray for this community, for our friends and neighbours and for our families wherever they may be. We thank you for the spirit of communal service in this place and for the kindness and consideration shown by many. We pray for our parish council primary school, the brook surgery, the post office, shops and pubs. We pray that within our homes and communities there may be a new awareness of one another's gifts and needs, more sensitivity 
and respect in our relationships. May we reverence one another as fellow beings born of your creative love. Come Holy Spirit, set, set our, our hearts, hearts on, on fire. fire. We pray for all those who are suffering in any kind of way, physically or mentally, for the victims of war and terrorism, for refugees and the homeless, for those affected by flooding and other natural disasters, especially those affected by the dam burst in Uttarakhand province of northern India. In this community, we remember those whom we know, Julian, Wendy, Karen, Nina, Faye and Jono and all who are recovering from illness, especially from Covid. We pray also for all those working in hospitals and on the front line against the pandemic and especially for our local undertakers. We pray for all those who are suffering Lay your hands on them to bring relief and healing, courage to live through this dark time, and the inner strength which only you can give. Come Holy Spirit, set our hearts on fire. Holy God, we pray for those who have died, and those who die this day. We remember Alan Clifton, Cyril Robinson, Michael Bates and Evelyn Harris and their families who mourn them and Luke and his partner Chelsea. Thank you for all they have given us. Comfort those who miss them and through your mercy receive us all in our time to live in the peace and joy of your eternity. Come Holy Spirit, set, set our, our hearts, hearts on, on fire. fire. We offer you our thanks and praise for the scriptures that remind and inspire us and for your living spirit which enables us. Merciful Father, accept, accept these, these prayers, prayers for the, the sake, sake of, of your, your Son, Son, our Saviour Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Almighty God, you have created the heavens and the earth and made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit reigns supreme over all things, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. Your, your will, will be done on earth as in heaven. In heaven. Give, Give us today, today our, our daily, daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Father of light, from whom comes every good gift and perfect gift, keep us in the light of Christ, to shine in your world, that all may believe in you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.